Make this flash drive now before it's too late and you lose all your data, your photos, videos, important documents and other files. The sync is sooner or late your computer will stop starting due to a bad system update or malware. This is confirmed by hundreds of comments online from Windows users. If you deleted some files by accident or a virus deleted them, all this can be fixed with this flash drive. With it you can always fix the startup of your computer and restore all data even if your hard drive broke. Breaks. To create such a flash drive and recover deleted data we will need the Easy As Data Recovery application, you will find the link to download it in the description of the video. And first let's consider the situation if your computer starts and you just need to restore an accidentally deleted image, video, document or any other file. I have specially prepared a file that we will delete and then restore using Easy As Data Recovery. This is an image titled Image to Restore. So let's delete this file. Left click on this file, after this select delete and then empty recycle bin and click yes. After this open application easy as data recovery. In the left pane click hardware disk. Since we deleted this file from desktop, choose here desktop. After this click on search for lost data. And after the scan was completed, the application found our deleted file and in order to restore it, select this file, image to restore, after this click on recover, and now select place where you want to save this file, for instance let it will be my second hard drive, and click save. Next let's check that the file opens and everything is fine with it. Open folder, after this open our file. As we can see, the file was restored even after deleting it from the recycle bin. You can also restore your files from SD card or from cloud drive and from other devices. And now we will create a flash drive that allows you to fix your computer yourself if Windows stops starting or shows a blue screen. You can also restore all your data even if your hard drive is broken. So click on crash PC. After this plug in your flash drive to computer and click create. You need to know that all data on your flash drive will be deleted. So click create. After the process is finished, our flash drive is ready. Now hide it in the safe place so that you can use it when you need to restore your data or when Windows stops starting. Next I will show you how you can use this flash drive. Plug in this flash drive to the computer on which Windows does not start. After turning on the computer we immediately press ESC, F11 or F12 key depending on the PC manufacture to start the boot menu. Then select our flash drive and press enter. And then the EasyAS data recovery application will open. Now the first thing we do is fix the startup of Windows on our computer. Click on boot repair in the left pane. After this click start and here you need to choose your operation system. In my case this is Windows 10. This is my operation system and click repair. This takes few seconds and after this you get message that your system has been repaired successfully. Click OK. In most cases, this function will fix your computer startup and you will have access to all your data again. But if your hard drive is broken, then you need to restore and copy all the data to another drive. For this, close this window. After this, in the left pane click hardware disk and choose your hard drive. And click search for lost data. And when the scanning is finished, click recover all. Choose another hard drive and click save to restore all data. As you can see, with the EasyAS data recovery application you will never lose your data. To download the application click on the link in the description. After this click start free trial. And finally I'd like to tell you a bit about the EasyAS data recovery application. With this app you can recover accidentally deleted files even those removed from the recycle bin or with shift plus delete. You can also recover data from non-working devices, formatted hard drive partitions, flash drives, SD cards, cameras and more. In my next video I'll show you in detail how to do this. That's all I wanted to cover in this video.
If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. You can also support us by clicking the join button below the video. I'll be very grateful and you'll get access to special bonuses like priority responses to comments, contact via Facebook and more. Thank you for watching.